Hello, and welcome to my brand new series on AP Computer Science Principles. This is a video series that I am ostensibly making for my 12th graders. Hi, students, good to see you. Because I am teaching a computer science class this year, but it's also for anyone else who might have an interest in learning the basics of computer science or might want to study up for a course or something along those lines. Now, we are on this video series primarily going to be using Khan Academy as our sort of means of getting through the curriculum. However, you students at home will also be interacting with Code.org, which is an absolutely fantastic programming and educational platform, which will allow you to, by the end of this semester, um, start designing your own apps and all that other nice stuff. We're going to be learning a lot about the internet and how technology impacts the greater world as well as our own individual lives. We are going to get really into the nitty gritty of binary and different number systems and how they're used to create things like color palettes and videos and wonderful pictures and all those other things. So without further ado, I want to go ahead and jump over to the College Board website so we can talk a little bit about what this computer what this computer science course is actually going to consist of, what's it going to look like, and kind of most importantly, what is going to be expected of you. So we're going to jump over right now. Here is the course overview. I will put a link to this website in the description of this video. AP Computer Science Principles is an introductory college-level computing course that introduces the students to the breadth of the field of computer science. The part I want to focus on in this sentence is college level. This is, for all intents and purposes, a college course. If you pass my class, students, and if you pass the AP exam at the end of the class, you get college credit, which could save you hundreds or thousands of dollars depending on where you go to school. Students learn to design and evaluate solutions and to apply computer science to solve problems through the development of algorithms and programs. And we will talk about what the words algorithm and program actually mean from a computer science perspective. But the idea here is this is not just a memorize formulas and then regurgitate them on an exam. You are going to be expected to apply some creativity in the development of apps and solutions to problems. They incorporate abstraction into programs and use data to discover new knowledge. Abstraction here is just a word that means using variables. Students also explain how computing innovations and computing systems, including the internet, work explore their potential impacts, and contribute to a computing culture that is collaborative and ethical. Now this, I think, is the most important sentence of this overview. This is not just a course where you're going to memorize programming languages and then pass tests. There is definitely going to be collaboration involved, there's going to be research involved, and there is going to be time management involved, all things that real life programmers and web developers and app developers have to deal with in their day-to-day -day lives. The AP Computer Science Principles course framework is organized into five big ideas. As always, you have the flexibility to organize the course content as you like. Let's go ahead and take a look at these big ideas and keep in mind that this is the foundation of the entire course, including the exam at the end. Big idea one, creative development 10 to 13%. As part of the AP exam, you will be expected to design and submit your own app as well as videos of you using that app so that they can grade it. So that will be part of the exam. Big idea two, data, 17 to 22%. Keeping track of large lists of numbers or names or other such things is going to be a very large pillar of this class. And it can get a little bit complex. Big idea three, the biggest, because it's 30 to 35%. Algorithms and programming. We are going to learn how to speak the language of computers so that we can give it instructions. Big idea number four, computer systems and networks, 11 to 15%. Basically, we're going to talk about how computers talk to each other, um, both like in a local network and across the internet. It involves a lot of vocabulary and a lot of acronyms, so be ready for that. 
Big idea number five, impact of computing. This is what I was talking about before. This is not just a class where you're going to learn how to use computers. We are also going to talk about the impact of technology, of the internet in particular, and how it has affected us both individually and globally. And that is 21 to 26% of the course. Computational thinking practices. Um, Wow, that's a long sentence. Okay, here we go. The AP Computer Science Principles course framework included in the course and the exam description outlines distinct skills from computational thinking practices that students should practice and develop throughout the year. Skills that will help them learn to think and act like computer scientists. I think that last little bit of the sentence is really the most important bit. You are going to learn to think and act like a computer scientist and that's kind of the core idea of this course. Emphasis is placed on creativity and collaboration as pedagogical, we'll get to that word in a second, strategies to be used to develop a diverse, appealing, and inclusive classroom environment. Pedagogical is a word in the education world which just means the strategies that you use to teach things. That's all. It comes from the word pedagogy. You can look it up if you want to. Emphasis is placed on creativity and collaboration to develop a diverse, appealing, and inclusive classroom environment. That's the idea here. We also have six computational thinking practices, so let's go ahead and go through those. Computational solution design. Design and evaluate computational solutions for a purpose. Computer science is all about solving problems, identifying problems, and then solving them using coding, using computer science. Algorithms and program development. You will develop and implement algorithms. All an algorithm is is a set of instructions for a computer. We will talk about that at length, I promise. Abstraction in program development. Develop programs that incorporate abstractions. As I said, abstractions are basically variables. X in algebra is an abstraction, right? It's a, it's a symbol that represents some number that we either don't know yet or can change. It is an abstraction. We will be using those as well. Code analysis. Evaluate and test algorithms and programs. Very important. You are not just going to be expected to design your own code. You will be expected to look at code that other people have made and evaluate it. Um, investigate computing innovations. We'll talk again a lot about technology and how it can be used all the way up to the cutting edge. I'm hoping even to bring in some app developers and uh, some, some folks to, to talk to you myself. We'll see. No promises. I'll give it a try. Responsible computing, Com contribute to an inclusive, safe, collaborative, and ethical computing culture. It's not assessed, but I am going to be keeping my eyes out for this. This right there, to me, is the most important thing in this course. Now, as of me recording this video, I have taught this class once. I am relatively proficient in all of the topics in the class, but I'm not perfect. There will be times when you will ask a question that I won't be able to answer. That's why that last, that last practice is so important because if I don't have the answer, chances are good that someone in the class will figure it out. There's a fair number of you and if one person figures something out, it is on that person to spread the knowledge. That's it for this overview video. Um, stay tuned. I will start making videos on Khan Academy where I break down each of the concepts. Um, students of my class, you will be expected to do these Khan Academy assignments at some point. So if you want to get ahead of the game, you can. Um, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time.